Hi, this is Andrew for Hitech Health and Fitness. Uh, with Garmin completely revamping its user interface for Garmin Connect, I thought I'd uh, just put up a quick video and do a run through on the tour. So Garmin starts with the new dashboard and like a lot of new modern interfaces uh, with Windows 8 coming to mind, it's got the tiled look and you can add activities and overviews and information that you want like at your fingertips. On the next screen Garmin shows us some user settings and uh, you've got the ability there to swap back to the classic or to the old view if you're getting lost in this new interface. On the next screen is where it all happens and Garmin uh, show us the new features and in the new features you uh, can uh, add activities to the dashboards, you can then uh, adjust the settings and you could go back to full screen for a lot of the information. So on the next screen they uh, highlight the privacy um, settings in the user settings page and when I first started using Garmin Connect uh, you only ever had the option of uh, making it private for your own viewing or completely public but you can now uh, set up uh, friends lists or group lists through my connections in the settings and that lets you share um, your activities just with your friends. And on the next screen it shows that you can have different dashboards just to keep different features there. As you can see on mine you've got the general sports tab, uh, just the dash, dashboard 2 and the swimming tab uh, allows you just to um, highlight what information that you want to have at your fingertips. And on that slide I've just uh, moved across to the second dashboard which just, I've just got activity reports there for uh, time and distance. The next screen just shows uh, the devices tab and uh, it just allows you to adjust uh, settings on the device and keep it up to date. So you can actually do firmware upgrades etc just straight from the uh, new Garmin UI uh, dashboard. And to get my Edge 500 working with uh, the modern UI, I had to download Garmin Express to connect it up to the new interface. So that was all looking good on the computer, so I thought I'd see what it uh, looked like on my Android phone. And unfortunately, the portrait mode really didn't come up with a lot. The dashboard just wouldn't display on whichever dash dashboard I selected. Uh, swapping to landscape mode though gave me the dashboard view and you can see there in that slide that it actually had the different widgets and as you scroll down the dashboard you could see the activities on there so that's the one with the total distance and then the one with the total activity time. So as you can see Garmin have uh, made quite a few changes and should be interesting how people receive the new modern user interface but uh, obviously Garmin think that the change to a new uh, modern look and feel is going to be the future. So that was just a quick run through of the tour. Uh, please like the video if you found it useful and once I've had a chance to play around with the new modern UI I'll uh, plan on doing another um, updated video so uh, please subscribe.